Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. Today we're gonna to be looking at Sequoia Pro 17 and we're gonna be doing some automation. I wanna do something with some saw waves, perhaps a super saw. So we're gonna set up a basic sound and automate its filter so you see how automation works. And you could extend this idea to make a really cool track. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So first off, let's create our project. So I'm gonna to go to File, New Project, uh, whatever, that's fine. I'm gonna use one track so everything is fine here. All right, so let's add our plugin. We're gonna add Revolta 2, load it up. Now we already covered Revolta 2 in a previous video. So I'm gonna go a little bit quick here. I'm gonna set the mix to one. I'm gonna turn off the noise in the oscillator. We're not gonna use them anyways, but we're just gonna set that up. I'm going to hit the wrench. I'm gonna take the volume boost off because it's not needed. And for the filter, this is a control I didn't talk about. The ADSR here is controlled by the envelope modulation. This is the modulation depth. It tells uh, the filter how much it should be allowed to control the cutoff knob. Uh, we don't want this on for what we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to zero and that effectively turns it off. So that is what this move right here is for. So with this off, uh, now when I hit a note, I can control the filter uh, by myself, just on my own. So that's what we have. Let's go ahead and set the transpose up to zero so we're not playing such low notes. Let's also turn it to poly so we can play more than one note. Let's turn off legato, we don't need it. Let's turn on our effects here. We have a chorus and let's go, let's turn on a second one. Let's also have it be a chorus. We'll give them different times. We'll bump the rates up on both and give them both relatively high depths and mix values. And we'll try to vary these up so that we get a cool mix of things. Sure, why not? My plan here is to move the cutoff in a cool way. That's the goal. So there's our sound already sort of coming out. We have the drive up on this, but it honestly sounds pretty cool. So I'm probably gonna keep it. And now I can look at this and say, oh, it's pretty soft. So let's go, let's pump the volume up over here first. And that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead, let's add our note. I am going to add it by just playing something in. So I'm gonna hit record arm over here and hit record. And we'll just edit the MIDI after for this, but you could play one in, you could click them in, however you wanna do it. I find that just hitting record and playing a few notes is the fastest way to add a, a MIDI object. So if you're gonna add one, uh, it's recommended. So let's take this and really quick, let's zoom in a smidge here. And let's move all these things to the front. And right now I am on the mouse mode over here. So I'm just gonna select these all. And what did I even play? Cause the keyboard I can't actually see. It's underneath the desk here. But it looks like we have an F7. Sick. Uh, the beginning is actually probably fine the way it is. I wanna look at the end. So let's change this to bars beats because this is a nightmare to look at. And oh, it's pretty close to two. So let's go ahead. I'm holding alt to trim these. We'll click off of them. All right, that's pretty fine. And let's also change this to bars. Oh, it changes them all when we do that. No, that's really nice. We're gonna change our snap. We're gonna turn on snap. We're also gonna turn on the grid lines because I want to see what we're messing with here. And uh, we're going to trim this down to two beats, but I want it to snap to bars beats relative and we'll make it eighth notes for the moment. And that way we could just snap real nice. Okay, so that's the sound. So we've done some sound design, just a smidge. And now we gotta do something cool with this chord. Uh, in this case, I think the cool thing is to, by the way, if it doesn't show up, just click show effect dialog, it'll pop up. Uh, we wanna move this guy with a line. That's the whole idea. So automation is when you have a signal and let's go ahead, you click down here on this little guy, it brings up your automation lanes. We'll shrink it a bit. Here they are. So you click this, it shows up. And this is your automation. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on. We, we need this to be on, but right now it's not gonna turn on or off because 
there's nothing for it to affect. So we're gonna click this and we need to pick a control. We could automate the volume, the panning, and this will allow us to draw lines to control what these things do. Uh, I'm gonna go for Revolta 2 because we wanna go for that filter control, which is right here, filter cutoff frequency. So I'm gonna click that and it creates a line that we can now control. So if you double click, you can add a point and this point can control uh, it. So let's go ahead and have a low point and a high point. And right now I am on the universal mouse mode, but you could also do this in curve mode and curve mode has a couple advantages, but I find myself usually just for the moment hanging out in this mode because I'm already in that mode a lot of the time. But anyways, if we, if we take this and we hit play, we will hear and we will also see the cutoff move up over time. Oh, it's not moving here. It was, they're usually, they usually move for you. But we can hear it uh, moving. And so we're controlling the cutoff of this right here. That is pretty nice. So we're gonna use this to do something cool. And this is referred to as automation. Now there are different modes. Right now we have it in read mode. There's a whole bunch of other modes, but for the most part, what I wanna do here uh, will work just fine in read mode. Now, if I double click to add points, you may notice that my points snap to the grid. Uh, if yours do not, there is a setting you need to change. So I'm gonna hit shift tab to bring this up. I also learned uh, you can just hit Y and that'll also bring it up. I like shift tab because I'm more likely to just stumble across that on my own. Uh, and anyways, so we're in here, we're gonna go to general and there's a setting to have it use snap for automation curve points. So if you want it to snap, you can do that. And then like the other snap settings, if you hold alt, it'll come off of it. So I'm gonna change this. Uh, let's leave it on eighth notes for now, that's fine. So let's go ahead and, well, maybe we'll go down to 16th because I'm not able to get to this. Oh, and this brings up an important thing here. So notice uh, changing this is not updating the grid at all. Uh, what we need is we need to be, yeah, we're in bars beats relative. Oh, snapped quantization is not on. So we'll turn that on. And now 16th, there we go. So now we can have a bit more control. I don't know why we couldn't do that before, but whatever. I have it come down, maybe add one right here. And then we'll do something like this, maybe. Now we have. We'll have this be a little bit quicker. We'll have that come down and up. And we could change the chord uh, to go down and we could copy this automation so we could select all these points right here. Control C, Control V them, placing our playhead right here. And we need a point at the beginning to start us off. And let's put the playhead at the beginning and zoom in there. And I'm gonna use Alt and ensure that that point is on the screen so that we can still select it. And now I'll select them, Control, C, place our playhead at the end, control V, and now it matches. So this little, this little piece right here could be a bit of a pain to do, but now we could add on uh, a second chord. So I could play in something else here. What was that, what did I play before? An F7. Yeah, sure, whatever, we'll do that. So we'll come in and we'll record arm it. Oh my word. We will record arm it and hit play. Oops, we're overriding what we just did. No, delete, delete. We will just come in here. Yeah, we'll just do that. Uh, so we'll hit record from here. All right, that's fine. Yes, we'll come into this one, drag these forward. And that looks like just about the right length there. And I'm gonna hold Alt to let me get a little bit more 
exact here, but you can kind of see how this workflow works. This note is a touch long. How long are we? I want to be right at there. And I want it to go right up to three. And now I can clip it just right. Yeah, somewhere around there. Good enough. Now we have this. And I could come in and change how this automation works and we could go on and continue to add things to it. So this isn't a, here's how to do every kind of automation because there are a lot of different modes and things. This is just a workflow for you to try out. So you could go ahead, if you wanna type in your notes and write out a big chord progression, and then come in after and add these, uh, the automation, once you understand how it works, um, you know, you kind of just, away you go. For example, we could add a lane here and we could go into Revolta and we could choose the drive this time, which is right here. And we could have the drive be something that perhaps changes over time. We started out at zero and have it get more aggressive as we go. That way, we have this like sense of intensity building with it. Maybe we have it come up a bit quicker, like so perhaps. And we could add a, another plugin afterwards, perhaps some kind of OTT which this one is a third party deal. And then toss on a verb after. This time we'll go, I oh, will go for the essential effects one. So here's a verb. And we could automate this mix control, which could be kind of cool. So we'll add another one. This time we'll choose the EFX verb and we will go for the mix and we will have it start out low and rise over time. Oh, it didn't want to start out low. Here we go. We could sort of force it to do what we want. And we'll grab this one and we'll add a point over here. <laughs> And with this, we could probably get a little bit heavier handed with it. Uh, is there a show thing in here? I normally don't go to it from here. Uh, we'll just click here. Show me the dialogue. Uh, we'll bring the damping down and the time up. Uh, and I accidentally bypassed it, turn it on. So it was off there. You could tell because it was grayed out. And here you can see the knobs move. I don't know why they weren't moving on the first one there, but normally they move. Yeah, maybe we have the mix down for longer because honestly, it gets up there pretty quick. Maybe we have it be a little bit overwhelming on the very last one. Yeah, I kind of like that a little bit more. And then uh, to tie it all together, let me quick find a drum loop. Now, part of this process I should mention here, so you can double click to get rid of a value. Um, they have some interesting options in here. So I'm gonna pull this down. So you see how this one pulls down linearly? If you right click, or not right click, I want to right click just this. There is a shape tool in here and the shape tool allows us to control how it bends. So we could have something kind of like that. And that can be uh, pretty cool. And again, I'm gonna use the shape tool to pull it down. And that looks fine to me. Yeah, something maybe like that. All right, so I have these two loops dialed in a bit better. It would be kind of cool if these things weren't so high the whole time. And so what we could do is we could select these points and bring them down and sort of selectively have a few of them be a bit higher. 
That way, as we add chords over time, let me, I just want these ones. There we go. We could have it grow. And let's also move this a smidge over because it doesn't seem to be triggering right when we want it. And then, you know, you would add some more chords and, and keep it going. But you could kind of see where this leads to. So there you go. That's a little bit on automation, a little bit on the curves, how you can get some cooler shapes out of this, how you can combine it. And it very quickly just becomes a creative a creative thing. You're now fo more focused on music than the software, which is always the goal. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.